<laughs> that is the cutest thing on planet Earth. And then the pallets of wood with some hay. Oh, they're all so friendly too. Again, I do have a gift for you, so you wanna follow me this away? Oh my goodness, yes! Where am I going? Why am I leaving? How long am I leaving? Hey, bud! Hey, you little munchkin. Oh my gosh, dude, look how cute. Look how cute. They are adorable. Over here, we've got omelet, hey. oatmeal, and hash brown. Omelet, oatmeal, and hash brown, the breakfast club. Hi, this one is adorable. That is honey. That's we honey. actually She's got her, and she was Hi. Uh, Freaking so frail. You little honey, baby. Oh my gosh, I'm in heaven right now. I am literally in heaven. Hi. You got all little rescue pigs here. Oh my god. Hi. I'm in love. I, I'm in love with this one right here. Hi, honey. You are the cutest. Your hair is so soft. What is going on, crows? Welcome back to another video here. Today, we are somewhere new. Look at how cute they are. These are the owners of the farm. I'm Ashling Stager, and uh, we opened the Stager Family Ranch here in the acreage uh, approximately about three months ago, and we've rescued quite a few animals so far. Awesome, look at them all. And they're pigs, so you know I gotta come visit. And Hi, I'm Scott here down at the ranch. We got husband and wife business here. No, not a business, nonprofit. So it's the beginning of something big, and I definitely need to come Say hello, and I also brought you guys a gift. I brought you a gift. I, I heard you guys wanted to bring in some more animals, so I brought you something. But look at all these little cute piggies. Look at them all. That one's adorable. So this is oatmeal, actually. Oatmeal. That's oatmeal, and then the spotted one is omelet, and then my little one over there, that's hash brown. Oh, I gotta get in here. And there are the breakfast clubs. That is the best thing I've ever heard in my life. The breakfast club. Oh, they're all so friendly, too. They that's something I've noticed. Not all my pigs like to be pet. All these pigs have just come right up to me. Hi. They love Hi. And I'm in heaven because this is this is absolutely the best animal in the world. A little piggy. Hi. Oh, you're a little shy? You're a scaredy cat. Okay. And look how cool this is. They've built all this out of pallets of wood. I mean everything. They've got these, same thing I have at my house. And then the pallets of wood with some hay. This is these little piggies sleep. Hey, right, buddies. Oh, goats. We have a little pygmy goats over here, too. Bye-bye, breakfast club. See you later. And here's the other side. I haven't showed it from far, but he's digging over there. And this is just so cool, because it's all just made out of recycled wood, you know? This is pallets. He's mudding over there. Look oh, my gosh. And I love how all these pigs love to be pet. That's, like, the best. Hi, honey. Your face, it does not get any cuter than that. Look at the little curled tail. Oh, you want to nibble? That's a little hard, bud. <laughs> You're a little nibbler, huh? All right, Scott, show me your goats. <laughs> All right. Well, Look at this guy. Me and my wife are avid Sons of Anarchy fans. Yep. Oh, us as well. So us we as well. have Opie and yep. Lila. Opie and Lila. And Lila I remember both characters. Roughly a month and a half to two months pregnant. Okay. Sons Those of Anarchy was a banging show. Oh, amazing show. Amazing. Look at Hamilton coming in hot. So you got two goats just chilling. Hey, buddy, what's up? And then you got Hamilton. Hammy. Hammy. Oh, you are. Oh. Absolute beast. Hey bud. So we got Hamilton here. He was sleeping up here when we first got here, up on up on the patio. He's, he's going to sleep right now. That's his little sleeping spot. Oh my gosh, he does not get any cuter than that. So this is where Hamilton sleeps. During the day he roams. But just to stay safe, he sleeps right there. Is he ever on the couch? Uh, he doesn't sleep on the couch, but the goats will get up there sometimes. I was gonna say, my pigs would be all over that couch. Hammy. Little hammy here. So bottom line is Caferos, local family here, just opened up a ranch and it's their licensed it's a facility, nonprofit organization. They're gonna rescue animals and that's why I'm here to support it. They're fresh off the start. I mean, I bought my property out here just like that. Completely just the house and flat land. They started the same exact way and they're actually using recyclable wood, pallets and stuff like that to make their enclosures, which is even cooler. Eventually, the plan is for you guys to be able to come out here and see it for yourself. Honey the pig. Snotted all over my lens. <laughs> Kisses for days. I know, she's the best. You guys will hopefully be able to come out here, see these animals all for yourself one day, but the goal is to really just raise some money, get them started. I luckily have YouTube to fund all my animals and the feeding process of it. It's a lot of money to get something started like this. 
in your own backyard. For those of you who do it, you know animals cost a lot of money, especially say they get sick or something needs to be done around the house because they're getting out. Or There's always different things that are going to be costing you money. So a nonprofit organization not making money anywhere else besides donations, if it's a dollar, two dollars, fifty cents, you already know anything helps, but I'll have the links down below. These little animals need your help, guys. Not that they can't support this farm, they're doing just great. But help from y'all, Caferos are very powerful. They would be blown away with the support. The support you guys give me, give a little chunk of that to them for today. Go down below, donate in the description. Look at this, because they gotta stay feeding these things some healthy food. I told you, you gotta start a YouTube. Because YouTube, you can make videos on this kind of stuff, which will then fund the whole farm. <laughs> that is the cutest thing on planet Earth. I love all their names. I know. And they actually came to them, came to us with those names, and we were like, all right, well, they're calling them the breakfast group. This is a missed opportunity to call them the breakfast club. <laughs> But we just can't call any of them bacon or sausage because that's just cruel. Yes, <laughs> facts. I was gonna name one of my pigs bacon, honestly, I won't lie. Look at the face on that one, so cute. And the spotted one is what? This one is oatmeal. Oatmeal. Look at your face. Oh, they are just chowing down, they're loving it. Oh, yeah. Think about it, you're outside, it's humid, hot. Even us humans, take a nice chunk of watermelon on a hot day, it's so refreshing. So all the pigs are out here eating. I just wanted to make my way over to this farm. We're gonna definitely stay in touch, and once again, I do have a gift for you, so you wanna follow me this way? You're excited? I'm have you excited. wanted this? You said that you wanted this thing I've, for a while. I've, huh? I've been posting all over my page saying that one day, one will find his way home to me. Well, this so. is the one finding his way home to you. I've had these tortoises, I gave the spike, back to its original owner, uh -huh. and now I'm giving you David. David, David yeah. the tortoise. You can I'm keep excited. his name, you can change it. I don't think a tortoise really knows their name, so <laughs> you should be good either way. David, David the tortoise. We got some Chick-fil-A oh, back here. Goodness. hello. He didn't even poop, Hi. what a legend. Hi, David. <laughs> oh my goodness, yes. He loves oh. any fruit. Okay. You Good ever time. have left over he loves fruit I gave him a pumpkin today oh he ate a fresh pumpkin that's a yummy, video yummy, you guys yummy. probably already saw that video but yeah oh, David's good. a legend I'm gonna miss David I was gonna keep him I had plans for keeping him but this opportunity came my way and I couldn't turn down the fact that you've always wanted a tortoise new farm yeah, my you, gift to you you'll you always remember dream come true there there we go so thank you for that. of course that's so exciting right you got yourself hi, a tortoise David. hi bud. I'll get Scott over so that he can see him and He'll probably actually have to lift him out. I could probably get him if you want to film. Yeah, it's already sure. recording, just whatever that screen is me. Okay. Here, come on. Let's go to your new home, which I will be coming to visit. Yay! So don't worry, Caparos, you won't never see David again. <laughs> just like Spot, the donkey. Spot was a donkey on my farm, which my barn plans kind of fell through. Mm -hmm. And I ended up doing something different on the farm instead of the barn. And I gave him to a local friend of mine. He lives like two minutes down the road. That's and awesome. she's doing an amazing job over there. So, That's so cool. She's visiting kids in hospitals now. Uh, yeah, it's oh, great. Oh, wow. Um, she's bred with like three different female donkeys. Hey, he's got this pig totally oh, yeah. tilted. That's Hamilton, yeah. Hamilton. Hammy the pig. Where do you want to put this tortoise? That's a very good question. <laughs> you keep your gate closed? Yes, I do actually keep it Is the there gate any closed. opening? Um, let's, let's actually explore that. I don't think there is actually. Here, I'll hold the gone camera. Through. Yeah, if there's no holes, I'll just roam. Yeah, just let him be. All right. Let him go. If you oh, want some water, some water, some watermelon? Oh, yeah, oh, he'll love it. Yeah. Look at that. I love the passion. Look at it. Scott's over here sweating his you know what off. Petting his pig. This is what we do all day. <laughs> There's yeah. no Us other life too. outside of it. Yeah, we don't really have much life other than the animals and obviously this YouTube channel. But I enjoy every second of it. I don't regret a single bit of it. Did he tell you how we started it all? No. No? Okay. So Would you care if it was on camera? No, not at all. all right. So how did it all begin? <laughs> so two years ago, we were hit by a semi. And wow. uh, it broke my neck and severed my spinal cord and it tore his rotator cuff and uh, damaged a bunch of uh, discs in his spine and neck. So we had to take a year off from managing restaurants and we got a little bit of a lump sum out of it and we decided to take it and run with it and do something different for ourselves since I'm permanently disabled and can't work a regular job anymore. So this is our lifestyle. This is our livelihood and we get to save animals along the way. That's amazing. Yeah. As in the second we messaged you guys, she came across the post on Facebook. We messaged them, we were like, these are some good people. True to the heart, you know? And then we were like blown away. We're like, we gotta do anything we possibly could do to help out. So I'm, I'm I mean, we'll, you got our personal numbers now, so 
reach out to us anytime. I'm sure the Gaferos are real powerful. You'll see that donation help you guys build up a little bit, you know what I mean? Well, that's awesome. I'm glad we came in touch. Thanks to Tay. Definitely. Thank you, Tay. Yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I never see stuff like that. Tay's on Facebook 24-7. She just brings this stuff across me, and I'm like... Oh, he'll, he's gonna, oh you're such he's a gonna little cutie, we'll little you know that. Look at your little nose. Look at that snapping turtle. Now, if you've made it all the way to the end of this video, you might be wondering, where am I going? Why am I leaving? How long am I leaving? Well, I'll let you do the explaining. <laughs> Hey, how's it going guys? How long are we leaving for? 17 days. 17 oh, that's days. The, that's the next trip, sorry. Oh. oh. Four days. Four days. Four days. We're going to Puerto Rico. So anyone that lives in Puerto Rico, keep an eye out. We will be there. There, I know you pharaohs are out there. Uh, by the time this video is live, I'm probably already back home. That's just how YouTube works. Yeah. Gotta love YouTube, man. Yeah. Got yeah, that's enough of that. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, honestly, we're not gonna be gone for long but it is gonna be an epic trip. I haven't traveled in a while. I used to travel like all the time. It's been a bit, but your boy's hopping on an airplane and going to Puerto Rico. We're not too far from home, so you can always come visit. I'm happy I made you know, her dream come true. That was literally her dream, was to get a Sulcata tortoise, and I was like, the opportunity's just there. I gotta do it. Now we can remodel that tortoise enclosure, and you know, Get something new, maybe like 10 different redfoots. Cherry head tortoise. Smaller tortoises, but a lot more. Things to come, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Check out the links down below to donate. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching today's video if you made it to this point especially. Thank you so much. Hit the like button for me. We are currently in Puerto Rico. Having a blast, are we not? We're not, we're still in Florida. We're still in Florida right now, but we're in Puerto Rico. But no, we're, we're probably not. back. We're in Florida. We're back in Florida by the time this goes live. YouTube's wild, so hopefully you enjoyed all the content on my vlog channel, the Puerto Rico trip. If you haven't seen it, definitely go check it out. If it's live yet, dude, it's just weird. I don't know. Subscribe, hit the like button. I love you. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.